Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to talk to you about me having my tonsillectomy done. I want to send a shout out to all you guys out there that have posted videos on YouTube to be able to help give me a bunch of tips of how to prepare myself and to get ready for the surgery. Yes, I am nervous. I am very, very nervous. So bear with me. Uh, I want to share some tips with you that I've learned from you guys from posting on YouTube of what to have and what to be ready for. So I took the time out, went to Amazon, got a lot of things, um, get myself ready uh, for the procedures. Because I've heard that so many people say that the tonsillectomy was no joke, okay? They said it was so painful. And by me listening to your videos, it really frightened me. I got really terrified. So I listened to each and every one video. And I really pay attention to what to do and what not to do. So I decided, I said, well, I'm going to go out and start preparing for this. And that's what I did. So the first thing that I did was thought about the hydrations. So what I got for that, for the hydration, I went out and got this. I went out and got this. This here is electrolyte solution. It's kind of like a Pedialyte, but this is more for a, an adult, for men or women. And this right here will keep you hydrated. So yes, guys, I went out and got this right here because you made it very clear to please stay hydrated. So I got this. I've already drank one because I'm preparing my body for to not be dehydrated. So I went out and got this. I also went and got this right here. This right here is called CF Prep Prep Up. Yes, CF Prep Up. So I went and got this right here. And what you do is you drink it before your procedure. And you know you're not supposed to drink anything after 12 o'clock midnight. So I don't plan on drinking this on the day of my surgery. Because it did say you can drink it like two hours before. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to risk that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one of these at night before my surgery. Before I go to bed. And then I'm going to drink one the day of my surgery. After my surgery. And what this is supposed to do, it also helps you like hydration. Let's see, what else it says? Yeah, it helps you with hydration and nutrition. Um, it helps you with long-lasting energy. This is the watermelon flavor. I'm trying to see what else it has does. But anyway, it's supposed to be really good. It's, it's like a clear flask. It's not a lacidic. It's just to keep you hydrated and to keep you going after your surgery. So I, I got that one. You have to excuse my speech. Sometimes my medication has a tendency to want to mess with my speech. I also kept in mind about this. I got the fruit punch. This is really, really good. Gatorade is really, really good too to drink too. So I got the Gatorade. I also got 7-Up because it doesn't have caffeine in it. And caffeine is usually not that really that good for you when you're having surgery. So I got the seven up. I got that. I also was listening to you guys when you was telling me that when the uh, scab started peeling off in the procedure of the uh, is doing so that it's very painful. And so like a lot of people don't like being on narcotics for a long period of time. So I did pay attention to you. And I got the children's Motrin. I got the children's Motrin, the great time. So I can alternate like the heavy, you know, then something that's not so heavy. So I got this in between times. So I can kind of stay on top of my pain every three hours. I also got Tylenol. I'm, I'm listening. Trust me, YouTube. You guys, I really appreciate y'all. I'm listening. I also got me some Tylenol, just in case. Now, I don't plan on mixing all this up together. I'm going to alternate 
every time. I'm going to alternate because I want to steer away from any kind of heavy pain medication that they may give to me. I really want to kind of steer away from it. You know, I know probably in the first maybe five days, like y'all say, or six, seven days, like you say, I would really need it. So I'll have these just in case on the days that I'm just not just hurting, but I'm hurting, but I can use those instead. I also pay attention to listen to you when you said you would have dry mouth. Look what I got. This is called ACT. This is ACT and it's a throat lozenger. It's a sugar-free honey lemon and it's also good for dry mouth. I've used these before. It's got acinol in it and it is really, really good. So I got this right here to help me out with the dry mouth. Also, because I always have strep throat. I kept getting sore throat. That's the reason why I decided to go ahead and have the tonsillectomy. That's why I decided. And I'm also uh, doing the adenoid too. They, they're going to get that too. So my doctor had prescribed me this. I won't turn it around because it has my information on it. But anyway, this is a magic mouthwash. And what it is that you, you just take it and you switch and swallow in your mouth. Switch and swallow. Switch and swallow. And I know some of you guys say Honey, you're going to be so sore, you ain't you ain't going to want to put nothing in your mouth to switch and swallow. But trust me, I'm putting this in my mouth because if you put this in your mouth, it's going to numb all of that up back there. It's going to it's gonna numb it up where you'll be able to swallow more easily. So yes, I got another couple of refills on this. So I'm glad my doctor prescribed this to me. So I want to send a shout out to my doctor. He's wonderful. And, uh... What else did I get? Okay, you guys. You told me about the earaches. Oh, yes. I've heard so many of you tell me that your ear will hurt. That it will just be unbearable, painful. So I listened and I paid attention. Pick this up from the Amazon. Because I've been trying to not go around public places and stuff so I've just been basically just doing my stuff online and having it sent to a secure location someone pick it up bring it to me and drop it off outside and they text me and let me hey your package outside I've been keeping my six feet away from people because I don't want to take any chances because of you know I have COPD and I have to be very careful so anyway I picked this up the eardrops and it's supposed to Calm and soothe ear aches due to colds and flus, allergies, and minor fevers. But I got it because I heard so many of you on YouTube say when you had your tonsillectomy surgery, you had the most worstest ear pain. So I figure, like in between the time that I'm not taking the heavy medication, like the narcotics, I can take a cotton swab, just a little bit of cotton swab, or just take a little bit of drop, because it has a dropper, and put a little drop in my ear. If my ear started hurt and this is supposed to knock out that ear pain real quick so I stayed on top of that okay I also got alcohol the reason being that I got the alcohol is because when you have surgery anytime you have surgery you know you don't put that directly on any wound or anything but I got the alcohol because what I want to do is after I take my bath I want to use this alcohol to put up under here under here because what it'll do it'll take the soreness out if you rub your face with this you know i don't know about you guys but it's worked for me if you take the alcohol and rub any area where you're sore it normally it takes out the soreness so that's what i did and i'm not done yet guys <laughs> okay you told me about your mouth will be sore oh my god i listened to you good so Trusted Amazon site. I went and got some Orb Mouth Sore. And uh, it's supposed to be for really technically for people who get canker sores or cheek bites, braces, denture irritation, or aura and gun irritation. But I decided that after maybe some days when, you know, when the uh, wound is kind of starting to healing, when it's getting in that process where I can be able to stand it, I would rinse my mouth out with this. Because it has no alcohol in it whatsoever. There's no stinging, no burning, none of that. And 
by the way, guys, this is no way a promotion or advertisement for nothing that I'm showing you. All this is is just some products that I picked up for myself because I listened to you. And I'm so glad that I was able to come to the YouTube channel and be able to find something about tonsillectomy because I was just terrified. And, and y'all really kind of put me at ease, you know, now that I, I'm, I'm preparing myself for what's about to come. I also invested in getting, not through, <laughs> They told me that, oh my God, they told me that your breath will be kicking. Okay. We're not having that. I'm not having that. So I did go out and bought me a new tongue scraper. I bought me a new one because I'm not going to be able to do I have to brush my teeth, so I'm kind of far away. So anyway, this is Orb. This is Orb. And uh, it's a breath therapy. And it's a special care or rinse. And it's got a mild mint. It's a mild mint flavor. And it too, it has no alcohol in it. So it's the alcohol that really stings. This is real soothing. So I got this right here to help with the days where I can't feel like I just can't brush my teeth. But I also solved that issue too, that when I couldn't brush my teeth, I also picked up some Oral B new toothbrush for when I am really able to get down in here like I want to. But in the meantime, and these are the soft ones. These are the soft ones. Can you see that, guys? These are the soft ones. I also picked up some disposable squabs. Okay. I picked up some disposable squabs. You know, we use these on patients when we when I was working in hospitals and nursing homes and stuff like that. And the patients would be real sick. Back then, we called them toothies. That's what we call them. We called them toothies. So I'm going to take one out and show it to you what I'm talking about. I got this right here. This is what I got. And all you have to do is get your little cup, something like this, a little medical cup. And put your mouth wipe, just swab around in there. Put your little toothpaste and just kind of gently swab around in there. Swab around. And it will make you feel a whole lot better, you know, instead of just not cleansing your mouth at all. It will make you feel a whole lot better, knowing that you got some kind of cleansing going on. Instead of not having any kind of cleansing at all. Okay, you guys, something else that I got for you that I picked up. Let's get this out the way here. We'll just try to I set it right here. Okay, look. Okay, this is a misting bottle. This is a misting spray bottle. And the reason why I got this is because you was telling me, excuse me, telling people to make sure that you stay hydrated. Make sure your mouth stay moisturized to make sure it stays moisturized. I also has a humidifier. I got a big one. So I will be putting a humidifier in my room with distilled water and I will be using that too to keep my room and the airtight right. But I got this because, hold on, <laughs> this, oh, and I want to take, this does like spray, like real heavy. It's a soothing mist. This is a smoothing mist. So I got that because I got Payal. This, I got this right here. See that? See that? Number one recommended. This is the number one mouthwash that is in most in every hospital when you go to a hospital. And this stuff is kind of hard to find, but I found it on Amazon. I found it. I got this one because it's got antibacteria in it. And I got it because I want to heal in every possible way that I can. So what I'm going to do, even though this doesn't have any alcohol in it as well, this does not have alcohol in it. It doesn't. It does not have alcohol in it at all. Uh, it kills germs. That causes bad breath. It reduces plaque, freshens the breath. It's a win-win. This is a win-win. So what I'm going to do is take this, mix it in this, hmm, for the days where I just can't swallow. If I can't swallow it, I mean, I'm just saying, 
if I can't open my mouth wide enough to do what I need to do to rinse. I'm going to take a little of this with a little bit of water, mix it up together, and mix my mouth. Mix all up in there, just mix it. And that's going to help keep it moist up in there. But I know that I don't want to keep it too moist where it won't get a scab on it. I just want to keep everything back there clean and free of, of bacteria and germs. That's my main goal is keep my mouth free of bacteria and germ. And I also understood that everybody was talking about, you know, to make sure you don't eat any dairy product because the dairy will clog, clog up back in your throat. But trust me. I've listened to so many doctors talked about it on YouTube. I will not be eating dairy products. So another thing that I got, oh y'all, ta-da, found these on Facebook, Facebook guys, Facebook, okay, this is called Scrubsy, Scrubsies, and I'm going to tell you, I tested it out, just to see if it does what it say it's really going to do, um, and it does, it really do. You just get you one little sheet, damp it a little bit, and start wiping, wiping, and you be lathered up like you in the shower. I'm serious. You be lathered up like you in the shower. And when you get through, you feel clean. You really feel clean. So I got this because a lot of people say, oh, I didn't feel like showering. I didn't feel like bathing. I was in so much pain that I just didn't feel like doing it. Okay. Well, me, I'm the girl that, look, I can't do it. I have to have a bath. You know, if I, if I don't get a shower, we got to wash it up. We got to do something. Got to do something. So if it got to the point where I was so sick and I didn't feel good, I didn't feel like getting to bed. Okay, here I go. Here I go. Get honey to bring me a little bit of bucket of water. Okay. And if I don't want to be bothered with nobody, don't want to ask you to bring me no water. Got my trusty bottle of water back there. Okay. Give me a bottle of water. I'll pour a little bit on that and get the washing and go right back to sleep. Okay, we got that. Now, you guys, let's talk about the food. Let's talk about the food. I think I pretty much well covered everything about for us, the medical part. So let's talk about the food. Most of you, I was seeing most of the people eating mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese. Well, with me, I'm going to follow what my doctor tell me to do. He say seven days, nothing but liquids, jello. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So I did get my jello. Got my jello, you folks. Got to have that. Got me some jello. And it's the Kool Aid gel. So I got that. I, I, this is not the only one that I got. It's just, uh, just to show you what I got. I also got some good old mops. Mm. Got my applesauce. So yes, I paid attention to you guys. I really appreciate y'all helping me so much. I also got the Swanson chicken broth. I got that and I tried to get the ones that has less sodium in it. But you know, I guess there must be a lot of people getting sick because I barely could find any. But I did get some. I also got some cream of chicken got that so that's what i'm going to be eating on my first week is broth cream of chicken soup drinking my juices and my water 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 i did hear that water 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 i also got beef broth got the beef broth i could not find the one with the less sodium in it but if i feel like it's too salty the water dilute it you okay y'all good you know for those who have that high blood pressure and have to wash their salt intake that's what I would do. I would just do half and half, do a little water with it, you know, kind of drink it like that. Oh, and uh, let's see here. And I did get this. Now, who can go without this? I got to have my cranberry juice. It's like a healing. It's like an all healing because when you don't drink a lot of water, you know, you tend to get UTI. This right here is your best friend. It's your best friend for your bladder. So I did get me some cranberry juice, Ocean Spray. Shout out to Ocean Spray there. And last but least, I did get some apple juice, some hot smell juice. I got that. So that pretty much basically covers all the items that I did get. But I do have uh, soup. 
like vegetable soup, broccoli and rice, um, all different types of soup that I did get. So when I'm able to eat um, kind of more softer food, I got there. So what I said I was going to do when I'm able to start eating softer food, I'm going to be taking like canned peas, green beans, uh, black eyed peas that's in the can. I'm going to take them and I'm going to parade them. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to use any seasoning on it at all. And I'm going to just parade it. Parade is so good to where I can take it and swallow it. I'm going to make it as thin as possible because I want to keep my energy up. I don't want to get to the point where I let my immune system go down so low because if you let your immune system get down low, you will get sick. I know I will. I will. I can't afford to let my immune system get down low. But uh, I wanted to give y'all a shout out and tell y'all how much I really, 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 really appreciate each and every one of you going to YouTube and posting your video. But I will.